All right, so in the previous module, I dealt with adding a picture, and then I added a caption to the picture. And we notice how this was a field, this figure A part. So let's see the significance of this as we deal with more pictures in our document here. Let's just set an insertion point here, for example. I'll insert a picture, and we'll grab this one, uh, the hand shovel, and click on Insert. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to set my text wrapping options to in front, and then I'll just steer this over here and we've got something we can work with very quickly. So now, with the picture selected, I'll insert another caption. So where do I go? Once again, to the References tab in my ribbon, I'll insert a caption. With that picture selected, it should auto-sequence like this. So now, figure B, this is a shovel. Something like that position below. Once again, you also have this little option, auto caption. Uh, this you can use. It doesn't really apply for this particular instance right here, but if you insert things like an Adobe Acrobat 7 document or a bitmap image uh, or even slides that you create, so maybe you do most of your graphics work in slides and then you maybe want to create your own customized handouts very quickly, you can do that. Well, once you insert, as I'm inserting the slide, it will automatically label it as figure A, B, C, and so on. And you can add new labels as well. So this is a picture or illustration, something like that. So that you can use that label. So every time you bring a PowerPoint slide into your document, it will automatically be labeled below the item as illustration a, B, C, or 1, 2, 3, or however you set your numbering options. So that's there for you if you need it, want it, and so on. But for now, all I want to do is, once again, insert a caption. Figure B will do just fine. I'll do the shovel again. Shovel very quickly, and then click on OK. So there it is, and the B is set there as well. Now, what you have the ability to do in your document is let's say as part of a reference you want to insert a table of figures dialog box so that will include a list as you can see in the screen tip of all the figures tables and equations in the document so this again sometimes uh, at the beginning or sometimes at the end of longer documents you want to do this so people can say oh if I'm looking for a picture of a shovel I go here so all I have to do now is use my captions grouping to click on this little button right here table of figures dialog Give it a click, and now you see a dialog box that says Table of Figures. You'll see this later on when we deal with Table of Contents, but for now we just deal with the Table of Figures. And it will grab all of your fields, all of your captions that you've used in the document, and it will pretty much automate this process for you. You can set tab leaders. This is what it'll look like, Figure A, and what page it's on, and so on and so on. So... Let's just give it a try here. Click on OK and see what happens. So figure A, this is a tulip, is on page 1. Figure B, shovel, is also on page 1. You can see the implications of that in a longer document. Now, as a last little pointer here in this module, I also want to just reemphasize the fact that these figure B and figure A, these things here that you get, I can't think of a better word right now, but they're fields. So I'm trying to say, and that means if you move them around in the document, if your figures switch places for some reason, so let's take this caption and let's just grab it and place it down here. Let's grab that caption and grab it and place it up here. Now, what do you have? This isn't figure B anymore, is it? It's figure A. So how do I automatically update that? Give it a selection give it a right click and then I have a choice here from this context menu that says update field when I click on it boom that changes to now figure A so it's all automated of course the text that you typed in is not a field so you might have to modify that of course but as far as the figure 1, figure 2, figure 3, figure A, B and so on those things are going to be kept track of automatically as you can see